Hello everyone, Tom from everystepcalculus.com, everystepphysics.com. We're going to do a calculus one problem, domain and range. And we're going to find that for you. Index 8 to get to my menu. We're already at domain, so we can choose that. And I give you a choice of if there's a pi graph picture on the test problem or you want to enter the function. I give you that choice. I say no because we want to enter our own function. You have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here. Alpha, second, time sign to get to the square root. And the problem is x squared plus 5 times x plus 6. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. I say it's okay. I show you a graph of these functions so you get more knowledge of what's happening. And I show you the calculations that are needed. In other words, under the square root sign, you cannot cannot be negative, so it has to be greater or equal to zero. And then, of course, we factor this to find the x's, and x equals minus 2, and x equals minus 3. So the domain is minus infinity to 3, including 3. This, this square bracket here means it's including 3, and then including minus 2 all the way to plus infinity, and then the range is 0 to plus infinity. Pretty neat, high every step, calculus.com. Go to my site, buy my programs, and enjoy passing calculus. One of the most worthless concepts I've seen. I mean, in a, I've been doing it for 20 years. I say it solves nothing. I also say it's uh, like doing, uh, being required to do crossword puzzles to get your English degree or learn English. That's how ludicrous it is. All right, have a good one, though. We'll get through calculus somehow.